said you said that you were pretty good today. Mm -hmm. Yep. How did you handle that? I knew I needed to stay patient. It was a wind direction we haven't had in years, so um, everyone was going to struggle with lines and you know the wind direction. So um, it's easier as, as it is. Um, I knew that I wasn't playing so well on the back nine, but I knew there were some opportunities. So. Uh, managed to hit some good shots coming in and capitalise and make some good putts. So, yeah, it was. I felt really nervous even with a six-shot lead coming down the last. Felt said to me on ten that you were making it a bit hard on yourself. Mm -hmm. You're making it hard on him. Yeah. <laughs> Did it feel that way to you? Did you feel like you were yeah. making things a bit tricky for yourself? Yeah, definitely. Um, I felt like I hit good shots. It just wasn't perhaps the right club. So that was kind of more frustrating. Um, but yeah, Whip played well and she was making putts and I wasn't quite getting the pace, so the momentum's are shifting. Um, so I definitely think the, the birdie on 11, uh, 12 sorry, um, gave me you know, a bit of a uproar. Um, I knew 15 was birdieable and 18 was reachable too, so it was a real bonus to get the one on 14. I didn't really think I would get it that close, so that was nice. But yeah, Whitney and Karis made me nervous. And did, was it hard to sort of keep in that moment when with was dropping putts after nearly hitting out of bounds on two holes yeah. early and you are dropping shots, mm -hmm. really yep. hard to sort of maintain and just keep pushing and, yep. and staying in it? It's hard not to get and think about what everyone else is doing um, and that's what my coach Richie said to me last night, just make sure I focus on my own game and try and shoot a low score and obviously with the start, all I, I said to my caddy Monica, at least get at least a couple under par uh, total, so it would have been nice if that putt went on in on the last but I'm um, still really happy that I hung in there and um, hit some really good shots coming in. You said to us a couple of years ago, Wins Australian Open would be like a major to you. Mm -hmm. What's this? Uh, this is very close. Um, Vic Open, like I said before, is my first ever professional event, so um, it definitely has special memories for me coming here. Lots of random memories, but good memories here. Um, but yeah, this is just a stepping stone, and I think this will give me some, you know, positive vibes for when we do get to get have our Oz Open back. Did it feel like a missing piece until now, having not won the pro in Australia and kind of thing? Yeah, a little bit. Um, I mean, we only get the opportunity a couple of times a year. Unfortunately, I don't get to play too many WPGA tournaments anymore, so it's great that we're getting some more events on this calendar. Um, hopefully, they can fit in my schedule from you know here onwards. But um, yeah, it's it's nice to finally have my name on a, a proper trophy over here. Last one, guys. Yeah. Um, you spoke a couple of weeks ago about how you'd be starting to celebrate with Sue. Yeah. So how special is it to have won here today with Sue, with Jared, with so many friends here? I know, it's so nice. Like, it's been such a big catch-up week. Like, I haven't seen a lot of these people in two years because I didn't travel last year um, when there was a couple of events on in January, February. So it was been a, yeah, it's been a big catch-up, and I think tonight we'll celebrate pretty well. <laughs> Thanks, 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 Thanks